Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be decorating my coffee bar, uh, Thanksgiving style, and I'm also gonna have a hot cocoa in there just for the little ones since they don't drink uh, hot coffee, or any coffee for that matter. So let's get started. The first thing I've already done is I already added a table runner, and I got this from Dee Dee's Discounts for $5. I think it was actually $5.99, but I already added that, and then on these little dowels, and see, this is why I added it in the beginning, because it's a pain to let that carry. But anyways, um, these little dowels, all I did was just add a little bit of the leaves on there, and then these little pumpkins, and then these cute little lights that were so adorable. I got them at Target for, I think, $3 in the dollar spot. So anyways, let's get started. Starting with the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add this really cute little truck. I got this at Target for $20. I just added a whole bunch of little cake cups in there. So cute, right? And then my husband thinks it's crap. Shh, what does he know? And then I got this really cute little container. I put my little creamers and my sugars in there and I got this at Kohl's. It was 50% off, so I got it for $25. This did not come with it, but I just thought, oh, I love those little berries. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on there. That's what I did. So then I have this cute little pumpkin and spice. How adorable is that? So cute. I think I got this from Party City for like three bucks. And then this right here is just a little wooden block I picked up from Michael's. And I needed like a little riser at Halloween when I did my Halloween bar. So I figured I'll just keep this out and use it. And it's gonna be a good idea because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it at least on one of these shelves. But I'm thinking right here would be good. Yeah, that looks cute. That way it just adds something. Oh, and in the back I always hang up pictures. Um, they're just little push pins. So um, I don't want you to be able to see the bottom push pin. Not you personally, but anybody. So I just have this one of these leaves that fell off. And I'm just going to put it like this and then hang up my picture. So doesn't that look cute? And you're probably thinking that picture's a little low, but you'll see it when I'm done because on this back dowel, I have these little S hooks and they're to hang my decorative mugs. These particular mugs that I've, I'm gonna hang, they're not for drinking out of. I have other mugs um, down here in the coffee bar that is gonna be for drinking. I will show you that towards the end of the video. So um, really quickly, this mug came from Pier 1 and it was like $6, $7. This one came from Pier 1. It was on clearance for $5.98. So I'm just going to hang those on here. When I went back to go get cuter mugs like at Home Goods, they were already done. They had their Christmas mugs out. But I did get these at Home Goods both for $3.99, I believe. And I just thought these were so cute. But I don't break them first. And then um, I also have this one mug. I think it's probably too heavy to hang on the little dowel, but um, it's gonna just hold these little stirrers and go on the Keurig. And then these little stirrers say spice. I got them from the Target dollar spot for a dollar. And those are gonna go down there. Let's see, what else does it need? I'm thinking maybe like a little sign or something. Yeah, oh. So I got this Target dollar spot for a dollar and I got these little sprinkles at Home Goods for $3.99. And just put that. Yeah, that looks cute. All right, next I will go ahead and do this shelf right here. Um, I'm gonna start off with this really cute little cookie jar. I got it at the Goodwill for $7. It's missing its salt and pepper shakers. So what I did was I already had these salt and pepper shakers, but instead of putting salt and pepper in them, I put um, cinnamon and pumpkin spice just to add on the coffee you wanted, if you wanted. And then these cute little napkins in the back. Those came from Home Goods too. And if I didn't tell you, this was seven dollars. I think I already told you that. But just in case, I did not. It's okay. Here she is sitting here, and how cute is that? So adorable. Okay, and like I said, I already have a push pin here for a picture. So I'm going to put this picture there 
This one I got from the Target Dollar Spot for $3 and it's pretty darn cute. And I'll just put it right there. Push pins really come in handy. At least for me they do. Okay. Oh, really quickly, I got this big picture at Michael's. And I will be hanging that right up here. If I can reach. Okay. And you know what? I never pay a uh, full price for anything. I always wait for it to go on sale or I use a coupon with it. Um, I just like that better because then you can get more. All right. Then at Michael's, uh, one of their 60% off sales last year, I got this little um, crate. And all I did was put some dollar store pumpkins in there. And then just these leaves that have fallen off of a, uh, a garland. So I just put those in there. Just where they look all cute. I thought I saw one of my hair on there. Or a fuzzy. I did. All right. No hair or fuzzy on a coffee bar. Gross. All right. So then after this, I'm going to go ahead and add a cute little pumpkin. I got this at Walmart for a couple of bucks. It was actually pretty inexpensive. All right. I like this white pumpkin. I got it at the Target dollar spot. I'm going to put it right here. This I got at Kohl's for, it was normally $10. I got it for $3.90, I think it was. Okay, actually I need a little of that to be on a little riser. I don't want to use one of my sides. I'm just going to use this empty box that those lights came in because you're not going to see it anyways. Just to kind of give this pumpkin some height. And then... Yeah, see, you don't even see it. Look how cute that looks. That is adorable. Love it. And a cute little pumpkin beside it. That looks cute. Although I need something for this space because it's empty. And I don't like really empty spots. Oh, you know what? Also, I cannot remember where I got these cute little leaves from. But I'm going to put them... See if I can hang them on here. Once again, those little berries, I don't even know where they came from, but I just put them on there because I thought they were cute. I have this little gobble to eat wobble sign from the do dollar spot at Target. And it's like a mint green and then the turkey's blue. And I have this little blue pumpkin and I know there's obviously not any blue pumpkins up here. There's nothing blue up here, but I'm just gonna add it here just because I think it's so cute. Yeah, that looks adorable. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust you guys so you can see the top shelf, how I decorate that. Give me one quick second. It is coming out so cute. And I don't even really, okay, hopefully you guys don't fall. If you do, I'll pick you up. Okay. Now I'm gonna start with this adorable little lantern thing. It was, it came empty, it was from Kohl's and I got it for, Half off, I think it was $10. I just threw a few little acorns in there and that little dollar store guy. And then this uh, has an alligator clip. It's just this orange flower from Michaels. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that up there. Okay, just so it's cute and out of the way. In that corner, I'm just gonna put this little dollar store pumpkin. No, I lied. This is um, a Target pumpkin, but from the dollar spots. And then if you guys don't know what Cracker Barrel is, it's a um, like a country restaurant and they have this huge gift shop that is attached to it and they have the cutest little decor. He came from there and his little acorn lights up. I just didn't put the batteries in yet. So that's on the list. I'll need to get batteries. I'm just going to set him over here. That's cute. And then I have a ton of these picks that... I got from Hobby Lobby and Michaels last year. And if you wait till they go on clearance, I mean, obviously it's even better because you get it cheaper. But I like that. Does anybody else's husband or boyfriend gets mad that you bring home all this decor and then 
you box it up and you hand it to them because they have to go put it in the shed or your garage. My husband can't stand it. But that's the beauty of marriage, right? <laughs> All right. This little acorn is such a cute little dish. I got this from the Goodwill for, I think, like a dollar or something. I just thought it was so adorable. So I'm just going to put it right here. And I need something up here, like a sign or something. Okay. I have a couple of different signs. I'm just going to put these pumpkin pies because it kind of goes in with this. And it brings that orange kind of up there too. Okay. That's cute. Super cute. I love it. And then, you know what? Um, I have, I'm going to show you right now in a second, but I have these little hand towels that I'm just going to go ahead and put over this little hand towel bar. You guys probably won't or can't see it right now, but I'll show you in just one moment. That looks so cute. I love it. All right. Let me show you guys. All right. Let me show you from the top how everything turned out. I think it's so cute. And it wasn't that much to do this anyways. I like to shop off season or like right after the season so I can get everything for super, super cheap. And that was the little hand towel. And then down here last night, I just put this little pumpkin and that little sign right there because I really had nowhere else to put them. But Okay, so in this little cabinet, remember how I told you that those little cups aren't going to be for people to drink out of them? They're basically for show. So in this little cabinet, I have these adorable little woodland cups that they came from Pier 1. They were $8.95. Um, I got them not last year, the year before. They were $8.95 originally, and I was thinking about getting them, so I just waited until Thanksgiving was over because I didn't want to pay $9 per cup because I needed two of each. So I ended up getting them on clearance for like $4.98. So I got two of each cup, and I just think they are so adorable. Say they originally $8.95, but yeah, they're just so cute. But I ended up getting two of each, so if somebody wants to drink some coffee or if the kids want hot cocoa, they can go ahead and use these little cups. And in this top shelf, you're probably thinking, where's the hot cocoa? So in this top shelf, oh, I have hot cocoa right there to prove it. I need to clean that. But um, in here, I have a um, variety of the little... Ghirardelli hot cocoa. Here's the marshmallows. And then in this jar, I have um, Swiss Miss hot cocoa or these other hot cocos. When just some marshmallows, and then I have those little spoons with the mints. Well, you know what I mean. The little crushed peppermint on top or the chocolate, what have you. So um, that's what I have in my coffee bar and hot slash hot cocoa bar. I hope you guys all enjoyed my video. If you guys wanna see more how I decorate different parts of my house, I'm gonna be decorating my table, my entryway table, my coffee table, my buffet table, and so on and so forth. So if you wanna see that, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know where anything came from that I already didn't say, just go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. Please hit that subscribe button, put that post notifications on, and I'll see you in my next video.